Hello, my name is Morgan Matson, and I am the author of The Firefly Summer. Uh, it's my first middle grade book, um, and I had so much fun writing it. It was really fun to write a book that was all set during the summer, especially since I was mostly writing it during the winter. Um, I'm going to read a little bit uh, from this book and tell you a little bit about it. Um, the Firefly Summer is about a girl named Rihanna, and she lives in California with her dad. Her mom died when she was three, and she really doesn't have very many memories of her mother or any of her relatives on her mother's side. And she thinks she has her summer all planned out. She's got it scheduled, she's got it organized, she's got it figured out. But then she gets a letter from her mother's parents, these grandparents that she really doesn't remember, inviting her to spend the summer with them in Pennsylvania. And so her first instinct is, of course, to say no. She has all her plans already figured out. But then something changes her mind. So this is a little bit from, it's like the end of the first chapter of The Firefly Summer. I folded up the note for my grandparents. I went to put it in the envelope, which was when I realized something else was in there. I lifted out a photo, a printed out one. Something about the colors, well, and the fact that it was a printed out photo, made me think it was older. It was of a girl who looked my age. She was in a one-piece bathing suit with jean shorts over it, sitting under a picnic table. In the background, I could see a dock. She was holding what looked like a tackle box for fishing, but it was pink and purple and locked with a padlock, and she was raising one hand in a peace sign. I looked closer. This girl looked a lot like me. She was blonde, and I had dark red-brown hair, but besides that... I turned the picture over, holding my breath. Written on the back was... Casey, Camp Van Camp, 12 years old. I turned the picture back, my breath catching in my throat. This was my mom when she was around my age. My mom looked like me. I looked like my mom. I stared down at the letter my grandparents had sent. My thoughts were whirring. What did, while she still can, actually mean? Did it mean this was a one-time offer? My only chance to go to Pennsylvania, wherever that was, and see more pictures like this of my mom? Because suddenly, that was all I wanted. I wanted to know more about her, much more than just the same stories I'd heard so often from my dad. I wanted to know what had happened. Why hadn't I heard from my mom's family? What had gone on between my dad and my grandparents to cause a rift this big? My eyes drifted over to my bookshelf. All my Miss Terry mysteries were neatly lined up, and it felt like they were scolding me. Because all this time, I had been living inside an actual mystery, and I hadn't even realized it, much less cracked the case. But this was my chance to. I could go to Lake Phoenix. I could find out more about my mom. Because if there was this photo, there were more. Whole albums and lots of stories. Stuff my dad probably didn't even know. I'd get to hear all of it. And, as an added bonus, I would get to the bottom of the feud. It would mean upending all of my summer plans. But the same thing had happened to Terry in The Hound of the Baskin Robbins. She was supposed to go to Maine, but then got pulled into the mystery about the missing ice cream scoopers. You always had to answer the call. And this was mine. I jumped off the bed. Cumberbatch the cat yelled at me, not happy I'd stop petting him, and took the steps downstairs two at a time. The kitchen was empty, but my dad and Ginger were sitting on loungers by the pool, and I hurried out to join them. I've made a decision, I said, before I'd even reached them. I needed to say it before my mouth went too dry to talk, before I started wondering if this was actually a good idea. I want to say yes. I want to go to Lake Phoenix for the summer. And that's how the first chapter ends. Uh, so it kicks off a story where Rihanna goes to Pennsylvania and discovers a whole world that she didn't even know about, filled with cousins and aunts and uncles. And when she's there, she discovers a whole mystery for her to solve. Um, so it's a story that takes place all over one summer with her and her cousins, uh, getting into adventures, trying to solve a mystery, um, and having a lot of fun. So that is the Firefly Summer. Um, and I hope that, uh, you enjoy it. Thanks so much. Thanks.